Okay. Then we're gonna pull whatever I have. Uh, here, should I... This is the main free-to-play account that I'm working on that I intend to give away later. The only event going on right now is this 2x, so I think we're gonna pull this Void Shard. <clears throat> but let me put in this... I think I've already put it in, actually. I love... Great. I already used it, okay. And then here, same thing. It's all about Cronum. There we go. Dude, like, like my last, like, ten videos. Cronum, Cronum, Cronum. Alright, here we are. So... Uh, let me move this out of the way too so I can pop this one out. And. Alright, so the first and primary thing that I want to do is finally collect Rathalos on the main account. That way we can get the points that we need for Champion Chase. By the way, if you haven't seen it, the way to prolong the amount of time that you collect one of these Champion Chase champions that they might give again, give away again in the future. Uh, is you, well, press L. You click off screen, basically. Well, don't click off screen. Press L, do something, and then you can come back to the to the Bastion. There's a video showcasing how to do it. Tutorial, I'll link it down below, or you can just search. It's, it's a very recent video. But here we are, we're going to click Rathalos. And boom, 500 points. You received the legendary champion. Let me bring this, make this bigger. You received the legendary champion, Rathalos, Blade Master. By the way... By the way, it's pronounced Rathalos. Uh, it's just a little pet peeve for me, because I actually play Monster Hunter. And I've, I've heard some of the CCs, some other CCs mispronounce it. Not their fault, it's okay. But for anybody else watching, you might want to know it's pronounced Rathalos. Encourage others to earn him too. Share a post about Rathalos Chase. Get an additional reward. Sure, I'll share it to Facebook that I don't use. Who uses Facebook anymore? Hey? Let's see. Put some music in the background. Hey, Miss Brito, I just claimed Cronum today. It's a grind, totally worth it. AOH prefer. 43 days. That is pretty good, dude. Congratulations, man. That was a grind. Is the music too loud? I'll lower it just a bit, just in case. Alright. So. In terms of my main thing here uh well i don't want to collect this energy quite yet we're still a little bit low we're not here yet but i've been saving this one champion for a rainy day and the reason i'm doing this is because i'm not going to be pulling any shards for one year uh, i'm not pulling anything for guaranteeds no future fusion events i just happen to be in a position where i was able to prepare for this specific event and everything lined up. So I'm not pulling any blues, purples, reds, or yellows. We're going to be taking Chromax Moonblood. But first, I'm going to go to channel zero. Just to uh, flex on them. Boom. So this is going to be another 500. I don't know if he's good. I haven't really seen his kit. He looks cool. Like a magical... Lightning, lightning magic, purple. I like the purple. Let's see. Attacks one enemy, decrease attack two turns. Attacks one enemy, 100% chance block buffs. Turn meter fill, three turn cooldown. AoE provoke, that's 100% and decrease accuracy. But that's on a four turn cooldown. When attacked, chance of placing hex on the person who hit him. Passive. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Chromax is terrible. Yeah, I just looked at his kit, and he looks terrible. So, <laughs> why would they make this a Doom Tower champion? The, the thing about it is, if you're doing Doom Tower, and you're collecting those shards, or the fragments for Doom Tower, you're probably already... You 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 already have champions who can do better than Chroma Chromax. So a lot of these champions that they've been giving, um, doesn't cut it. Anyway, I digress. Hope it's gonna buy. Oh, it's sorry. The, the way it looks like on my my screen is that this is covered 
hope it's gonna buy on YouTube. What's up, MTG? All right, so now we're right here. We're at 1,000, which means I have to pull a little bit of green, which we can do. It'll be very quickly. I'll make it quick. Plus, we're probably going to get some uh, blues along the way. And that'll get us to 150. And while this is going, I'm going to pull whatever shards I have on my... Uh, other accounts as well just for the hell of it so here well let's make sure we're, we're gonna go to zero because you never know this one shard maybe they have an increased chance still for newer accounts increased shard drops for lightning yellow lightning nope 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 that's a farmable champion who we don't care about so there goes that one what about this one? Oh, channel zero Pull that. We got a purple. It's Deacon. It's a throwaway account. So there's that. I'll probably just use him as food, to be honest. And we got Grave Chill Killer. So let me uh, X out of this. No more music. So that's kind of out of the way. And then we're going to pull this one. But we got to make sure we're in channel zero. I'm not buying anything on these throwaway accounts. There it is, lightning right here, of course. Lightning, go. And no lightning. Just an, is it like a 10x for grave chill or something? Let's see where we're at now. We're at one, so halfway there. Pulling greens along the way. And we do have one purple on this 2x event. So we're going to pull the one purple that I have on the main beginner free-to-play account. She's cool. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I get the joke. She's cool. And a Krizia. Watch it be a Krizia. Okay, never mind. Well, there goes that. More food. And I, ha I have to save for a 2x. I gotta save these for a 2x, so there's that. But let's go ahead and knock this out. We got Greybeard. And we got two rares back to back. Yeah, I'm really out here pulling greens. We did it though. Alright, and let me let me show you guys the calendar. So we, we're collecting this. So we got the fragment for that. And right now we're sitting at a nice 65. Let me pull this up. Because I have the calendar right here. Just to see if we're on track still, right? So we're at 65. We got five from here. And then we're going to get... Let's see here. I'm not done with champion training yet. So 65, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So we are on track. And I was able to... or uh, Assuming I finish this champion training event uh, before. Because I might forget about it. The memory of a goldfish. But yeah, we're pretty much going to get uh, Zenogre. Blade Master. There you go. And not a not a single uh, any of these shards pulled. Farm. I love love farming Fire Knight for Region and Savage Gear. But the point is, we have Saurus, and with Saurus, we're gonna be able to farm the campaign. I remember the last time I did a free free to play account, I had Saurus as my campaign farmer. He was able to do twelve three brutal in six seconds six to seven seconds depending on whether or not you run the computer and the way he works is all of his all of his skills are aoe's he has a relatively high base attack for an uncommon champion 
And the requirements, not, I'm not, he's not maxed out yet. So I got to get him to 60. I got to proc the Helm Smasher on him. I got to get the Helm Smasher on him. Booking him is really easy because he's a farmable champion. So if you wanted to, just completely run, um, what's this? Stage 10 over and over again. And you can see he drops right here. Get some good gear on him. If you can get some cruel, some ignore damage, that'd be good. But got to be doing clan boss for that. Then I'm going to kit him out as best as I can. We need to go for 100 crit rate, some more crit damage. Speed is really nice because I think for stage 12, 3 brutal, I think it's all the same. Okay, well, stage 12, 3 brutal, the fastest champion here is going to be Lord Shazar. And this is how you check, right? You click him, you see what his base speed is. That's 101. And he's the fastest one here, right? Yeah. So you're... So technically, we only need to have Source going at a nice 102, if we wanted to. Obviously, the more the better. Uh, the more the better. The more the better. But you really only need to be going a little bit faster than Lord Shazar. Because you're planning to just one-shot through everything. If I remember correctly, the minimum stats required for me to be able to do stage 12-3 Brutal in about 6 seconds. And again, iffy on the memory here. My attack was somewhere north of 3.5. 3.5 is the minimum, I think. And I, I won't know until I try this out again. But he only needs 3.5k attack. The speed... 103, that was the minimum we saw. He needs 100% crit rate and then crit damage as much as we can get. But I think, I don't remember, I think 180 crit damage is what I was getting getting away with. But I, I'm going to try to aim for 200, 250 on him. And then, of course, once I get uh, Cruel Gear on him as well, or if I can get some good Savage on him, then he'll be doing the stages that I need to very quickly. And the reason we want that is because with him being our farmer, we're going to be able to make food so much faster. And it's going to make this entire process that much easier. As far as clan boss, I think I mentioned it. I'm not really focusing on clan boss too much. I'm right here. That's a two key. Barely a two key. Barely a three key. I should be focusing. I, I recommend and I always tell people you need to focus on clan boss. But uh, I'm just not doing it this time. Don't do as I say, do as I do. Wait, other way around. Is he good in a stun set or freeze for waves? You could put him in a stun set if you wanted to. I mean, any any champion that has AoEs could do relatively well in a stun set. And that is something that you could do. You could hope that the stun sets proc the stun to help you get through the waves. But that's a big if because... If it doesn't proc, then you're sitting at a 30, 40 second run, and you don't want to do that. Okay, so right now we're just focusing on doing the dragon, and I realize how hard it is to do anything now, because I'm at the point where if I don't have energy, and I don't have gems, I do have the gem mine unlocked, then... You just really can't do anything. Unless you want to buy energy, which I won't do. This is where I'm at with the referral program. Oh, hey, look at that. One of my accounts got to 30. And we have a Void Shard, which we are going to pull right now. Look at that. Wait. Come on, Acrisia. Or Siffy. <sighs> damn. Damn, 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 damn. How far are you from 30? So this is the one that got to 30. Close to 30 here as well. Let's go ahead and just run. The, the best thing to do is just to run 12-6 over and over and over again. It's the fastest way to get your account XP up. If you only care about your account getting to level 50. Which pretty much is the case for me. I only care about that.
trying to do some clan quests as well because they do sell the fragments for Yakarl and Yannicka. That's something that's just going to take time. It sucks that I'm locked out of Tag Team Arena because I can't work towards Jekstar. Why is Monkey 50 not Kale? So the reason I'm I'm focusing more so on Sun Wukong is because I'm thinking a little bit long term. Kale will fall off for you. Kale is an excellent champion for like early to mid game, even if you're entering the end game as well. But when I thought back to the last time I've used Kale, uh, hey Radesh, what's up? I don't use Kale for anything. Even in Centranos or Faction Wars, other areas, he just sits in my vault. He's a level 60 vault king. He's an OG for sure, but I I think that over the long term, I'm not going to be using him at all. So I don't want to invest too much into him. Like, I'm going to upgrade him passively, but I'm not focusing on him too, too much. I think there's going to be other options that I'll come across as I'm progressing through this account. And Kale will probably get to 60 eventually you do for the most part want to focus on on kale early on if you really want to focus on on clan boss but he's gonna you'll be done with this account before he falls off yeah that's a good point but i i still haven't really decided on when i'm going to be giving this account away i think um getting arbiter and doing ultra nightmare will probably be when i give the account away Kale is easier to book. He is easier to, to max out just because he is a rare. So there is that. I'm not getting any legendary books anytime soon. So I'm probably not doing the best thing, but it's fine. On top of that, because I pulled Saurus, I don't really need to focus on him as a campaign farmer. Because Saurus will do it twice as fast as Kale could ever do it. But I, I will be... I'm not completely neglecting Kale. I will be working on him just... You know, whenever I, I get around to it. Oh, fuck, I'm out of coffee. And plus, these sacred shards are, are going to be showing up soon. Relatively soon. I mean, it's going to be a hot minute before I get to 50. But uh, but still. And the way I run my my accounts, my referral accounts, I just use energy. Every little bit that I can, I, I, I put towards energy. And that's just how I've been running it. Now, Beanie did say he wanted to start an account. Maybe I should save him gems and use one of these accounts to make a clan. Or, some other big brain move, is go into a clan where there's no activity... And then uh, sometimes you'll get a clan who just, they, they leave, and so you automatically become the, the clan deputy. Take over a clan for free. I'm hoping for a great rare to show up. Zephyr Sniper. Uh, sniper. It's pretty decent. Now, what I am considering... Sorry if you said it. Why farm 6-6 six, six normal? Because on these three referral accounts... I'm doing my referral accounts. These are the three referral accounts. Stage 6 is going to give you the most XP for your account only. Not if you if you care about silver, if you care about leveling up your characters uh, and trying to be completely deficient that way, then I would do the highest level of, of 3. But I can only reliably do Stage 6 on these 3 referral accounts that I'm not going to be investing too much into. The challenge that I'm stuck on is summon a rare spirit champion. As well as equip three star or three four star higher uh, artifact sets, then doing this, and then reaching gold arena. But like all this will come with time. Just 
Here's my water. Yeah, but the thing I'm thinking about is actually just pulling these blues. I don't know when the next 2x event is for, for blue shards. Yeah, 12-6 is the best way, you, the best place to, to do it, if you can get there. But I can't with, with these uh, accounts. But the first time I did it on my main account, when I got Chronum, that's what I was doing. I fed everything into my campaign farmer, which I, I finally got. I finally got Source on this account. I finally got Source on this account as well. And I don't know if I have Source on this referral account either. Yeah, this is the process. Just feed everything. In fact, I'm thinking about feeding Kale too. Just everything goes into Saurus. And then it gets to the point, once Saurus can can farm reliably at a decent time, you don't even need to bring food or anything in there. You can just let him run 12-6 over and over and over and over again. Where is Saurus? There we go. There he is. He's at level 50 right now. I might even fuse some Wukong into him. But it just takes takes a little bit of time. Not a little bit of time, it takes a lot of time. The last time I did this, it took me a month and a week, basically. Although I was kind of lackadaisical about it. And I wasn't really gunning too hard for it. Like, let me back. I, I was gunning hard for it. Oh, he got Necrit. Congratulations. Someone just summoned Necrit. That's a big pull. I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, back when I first, when I did it the first time, I didn't really know what I was doing. And I was kind of wandering. But now I know what I'm doing. And I was testing it out, right? I was focusing on doing the main missions on these referral accounts. Well, on, I think, these two referral accounts. Right, let me go back and see which one specifically. It was, I think it was this one, right? So I started out on this referral three account, just basically only doing, you know, six, six. Because that's the, further, uh, the furthest I could get with uh, using Monkey King as, as the farmer. And then on referral one and referral two, I tried to, oh, we're about to get to level, we're about to get another Void Shard. I tried to um, do the missions and the challenges and everything first. And what I found was that if I just focused on, on doing the campaign stages, I would get there a lot faster. And you could see that that's what had happened on this referral, or that is what had happened on this third referral account. I was only banging out campaign missions and I ranked up my account or leveled up my account a lot faster than these two, where I focused on missions and uh, challenges. Because, you know, normally you play games like uh, Borderlands or World of Warcraft, and the main avenue to get XP is by doing missions. So I tried to go in with that frame of thought, but no, just, just bang out campaign over and over and over again. And then do it with food until uh, you can get your farmer up. So we're almost there to 30 on both of these accounts, which means we're going to be getting two Void Shards pretty soon here. And hopefully, the 2x kick, uh, will kick in for us and we, we summon something good for this Baby Burrito account. Wait for two. Yeah, I'm not going to pull the uh, blues. I, I thought about it because I'm so limited with my roster that I, I feel like I can't do anything. But I need to be patient. Wait for the 2x. It's 14 right there. Since these are going to be throwaway accounts, I'm thinking about using Sun Wukong as food. Which I... Oh, I got a cricket this in my neck. I think that's what, what the move is. Once I get enough 5-star champions, I'll feed Sun Wukong into Saurus. That'll make a that'll that'll make make a an interesting video because these are going to be throwaway accounts. I'm I'm not really going to be giving away these trash accounts anyway because nobody's going to want them. And then 
it's just gonna sit there. Might as well do that. Feed it, and then I could actually go here. Go to, uh, where's options? Where is it? I thought there was an option to delete account. I'm pretty sure there was a delete account option. I thought there was, but but never mind. I'm pretty sure there was a delete account option a while ago. Here we can get some energy here from the clan shop. Bang it out here. And then I get to do a lovely another three. But the lucky thing about the, the latter half of this is I only need to get to level 40 to grab the extra... Um, fragments, I mean. To get to, to get the fragments to summon Chronom, I only need to get to level 40. If I wanted to get to level 50 and get the three shards, that would be a good idea. And I might even do that passively. It's on Polarium Play. Oh, okay. On the phone. On the phone, there is an option. If you go to settings, you can just click delete account. I see people in, 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 a, in chat quite often talking like, oh, you know, screw this game. I'm just going to leave the game and whatnot. And then everyone's just like, just delete the game. Delete the game if you don't like it. And I'm like, yeah, do that. All right, we got to level 30 on one of these accounts, which means we're about to see this void pop up soon. How far are we on this one? We're waiting on this one? Okay, almost there. Almost there. Let me see if I can get a little more energy here. These client quests. Sell some silver, increase attack, multi battles. Or sell some gear, I mean. Let's sell some gear. Not quite. Alright, almost there. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. get some progress rewards as well once we hit 30 more gems more energy just popped up yet it hasn't popped up yet it takes a little bit of time to load on but we're good i don't care about team setup arbiter we're not doing it you can't make me i guess you, you kind of can unfortunately we do not have source on this account right here yet so that's going to be a little bit of a wait How have you guys built Rathalos Blademaster? The way I'm thinking about building him is just straight up as a nuker. Lethal, savage. The three rare shield missions and bang it out twice. After clan hopping so we get 700 clan gold. Oh, that's a pretty smart decision. I only watch whale content. I think uh, Ash would probably be up your avenue. <laughs> I love my side chick. What's up, Alpha? How are you, man? Oh, I work too soon. So like I said, if I had the money for it, I would be a complete kraken. I'm just wishing I, I had uh, I had money like Big Papa Drock or Ash, so I could just wail out all the time. But how about you? How are you, man? See, that's a crappy thing about being free to play. Like being pay to win is so much fun. Cause I remember when I first started raid, I was like spending thousands. The game was so much easier, so much fun starting out. And then you, you, you go back to being free to play and then like, alright guys, this 
you got to make videos on like how to be as efficient as possible. So I'm just like, damn. Comment video on what farmers do. Uh, yeah, you told me about that. You told me, Rudenoid, that people, when they start accounts, that there's a promo code they can use to start out with three voids. If you find that exact promo code, let me know. I would be interested to know. You just pulled Yumiko. That's a big pull, dude. Congratulations. Yumiko is one of my favorite champions. She's been a quite the game changer for me in Arena. Uh, Tavish had actually built her out for me when he was working on my uh, Arena team for Plat Plat Arena. And yeah, she's a she's a game changer. Definitely, she always gets banned in live Arena. You can grab the lesser missions for one rare shield and get 900 clan gold day one. The epic shields. That is huge. That is that is that that's the next time I do that. The next time I do that, that's what I'm gonna do. For the next three accounts, that's what I'll do. Grab the lesser mission for one rare shield in the clan clan quest, right? So there's like a mission get basic missions. Let's see if it's here. Did I go over it already? Well, that's it. Where is it? Expert mission. Oh, okay. It's an expert mission. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, it's an elite. Okay. This one, right? Win three rare or epic shields from campaign battles. So, that's 350 right there. Grab... Oh, I see. Grab the less... Grab a lesser mission for one rare shield. Grab this. And then the epic shields that you get for logging in count towards the progress... And that's pretty cool. Because right when you log in at the bottom left, it, they give you a rare shield. And combine them both. Yeah, that's that's big brain move right there. Because then you can immediately just go here to the clan shop, get grab a bunch of energy or whatever you, you would have you. If you're doing the referral counts, I would get the energy. And then just do that. Thanks for sharing that, man. That's huge, Virgie. Free to play, straight to the name, right, right, true to the name. It's a promo link from the start of raid first months. Then clan hop and grab another one. Oh yeah, huh? Is there? There's no. There's no rules against clan hopping. I thought they implemented something for that. Cause I remember way back then people were doing, uh, UNM NM. For multiple clans, and they would just collect a lot of rewards. I thought they had uh, done something about that. Or was it just for a clan boss, like you have to wait six hours or something? Yeah, Rudinoid, I'm going to look for that. I'm going to look for that link. Promo, promo. Is it a, is it a link? Or, because I have to send these links out. Oh, I got a void shard. I have to send these specific links out to myself in order to get this linked. But if I use somebody else's link, then it's going to link to their account and then I'm not going to be getting the rewards. Oh, okay, so th that shield you were talking about is from the campaign rewards, not the free one you get in the main menu. Understood. Thank you either way. I'm going to do that before I start going through campaign next time. Right there. 100% guys. I got to do a few more. Looks like we're gemming out. We're going to gem up. 
This is the one. So we got our void shard here. Let's go ahead and pull it. Come on, I need a Siffy. That I don't get to keep. It's a 2x! It's a 2x! Who? Prundar. I haven't seen this guy in a while. A1. 30% decrease speed. 30% chance. Books up to 35. 40, 45. On A1. To place a stun. When countering. Defense based champion. These aren't going to apply to bosses. Some bosses. I'm thinking clan boss mainly. But this could help somewhere, I guess. AoE provoke. Okay. And then increased defense. So provoke with the increased defense is pretty solid. Three turn cooldown. I immediately think helping to progress through the campaign. And... I guess in some dungeons. Hydra, when I get there, could do something maybe because the, the one head that cleanses. Strengthen continuous heal on all allies on a four, four, ten, four, four turn cooldown. Clan boss. That's good for clan boss. It's on a four turn cooldown though, so that's less good. Receives 20% less damage. Under provoke champion or uh, champions under provoke, and then a 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 percent chance to counter attack. Doom Tower, he seems okay. He seems okay. I don't know if I would build him. Oh, hey, we got to level 30, which means we get to summon another, another void champion as soon as this pops up. And we got some energy here, so we're gonna head and go. We're going to go ahead and run Dragon. Hopefully, we can get through this mission, get some good gear. I also wanted to take some time and, and look at the gear that I have, do a little bit of gear cleansing on this baby burrito account. You should make a video on how to get clan gold day one. Just started making raid content a few days ago, dude. I didn't know that. Let's check you out. Let's see. You should make a video on that. To be honest, you, you you should. Any good ideas you have, you 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 gotta you gotta do it. Virgie free to play. Ah, look at you, dude. Hey man, I got you, bro. I'll be your number five sub. Go ahead and check him out. Let's see what your. Uh... Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Virgie. Today we're going to go over 40 days in Raid Shadow Legends. I yeah. started this account back in you like. early December. I'm going to comment for the algorithm. Um, and today we have hit the 40 day mark, and I just kind of wanted to show. I forgot to spell rhythm. Where rhythm. I have been rhythm. able to rhythm. make it to thus far. As I spell rhythm. Free to play. play. Ry comment. Uh, first things first. Just comment. 52 so far on the account. I wouldn't be playing the game if not the whaling. The game sucks as free to play. To be honest, there's been a lot of talk about how, like I see in the, con I'll, I'll continue watching this in a minute. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about Krakens and whatnot being like a bane to Raid Shadow Legends. But to be honest with you, a lot of us could not play this game free to play if it weren't for the Krakens. Because the Krakens pay the hundreds of thousands of dollars that they do to Polarium, that makes this game free to play. Spelling is rough, yeah. You're welcome, dude. You're welcome. I appreciate you for your support as well. Spelling can be rough. Spelling can be rhythm rhythm? R I T God, it's gonna bother me. L go oh, okay. A L G O R I T H M. Yep, we get to be free to play because of the spenders, exactly. I do want to show that I was able there to complete the first set of referrals and make it to the Cronum Fragment. Are you going to go for the Sacreds? On my second set, I will 
eventually get these up to level 50. You just said it, never mind. To get the last three sacred shards in. Without you, the stupid um, free-to-play CP will be doing content on the dead game. Yeah, that that is true. Uh, you, you know, a lot of them might talk about, like, no... I'm not going to get into specifics, but yeah. No, that, that's true. Like I said, the Krakens are a... Uh, the bread and butter, the life source of this game to make it so that we can make our free-to-play content. The skin, but... As of right now, that's not a huge priority, so I've kind of held off on that for now. I want to quickly show my gem count, or my gem count is around 3,000 gems thus far. The only thing that I have spent gems on in this game has been maxing out our gem mine early and unlocking all five spaces of the sparring pit. I did this pretty early on, and it has really, really helped progress the number of six stars that I'm able to get. Yeah, so the, the difference between uh, you doing that and, and me is I, if I could go back, I wouldn't have unlocked all five. Me personally. Because now that I'm in the end game on my main account, um, I don't use most of the, what do you call it, most of these uh, sparring sections. I think at most I would have probably unlocked three and then left these two un or just kept them locked. Kept these three. Long for our first vid. You know, I've I've found I have found that the community actually really appreciates long form content. But again, it's a hit or a miss. It's a hit or a miss because there's a lot of people who, who like the long form content and then there's a lot of people who who prefer the shorter videos. But these videos actually do relatively well, surprisingly well. Like, they, they do have the click-through rates, and they do have the, um, what do you call it? Let me see if I can find examples here. Yeah, so here, let me, let me show you guys an, an example here. Um, like, so my free-to-play on it, unedited unedited videos up in the hundreds like not not a lot but like hundreds here or 500 here for some reason two dislikes i i don't know what like if you're gonna dislike at least put a reason constructive criticism so i can improve but you know that's just the name of the game when you do youtube and when you go into the analytics you can see the watch time which for if you're a content creator this is what you want to be looking at like 33 hours so people are sitting there watching it because they do enjoy it. So the numbers, men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. And let's look at another video I have. So that was like 30, 33 hours. And we'll look at uh, here, this video I did on Chronum, 432 views. And what's the total watch time? 36 hours. So the amount of time that I took to do this 20 minute video versus this video that I just uploaded you know what I mean? You, you kind of get got the same thing. Or even, like, um, what's a shorter one? Here, we'll look at this one. Uh, an eight and a half minute video. Over a thousand views that I did. And 48. That doesn't really show you because it has, uh, show you what I'm talking about because it has more views. But the point that I'm trying to get to is people do enjoy the long, the long form uh, content. So there's nothing wrong with it. My suggestion to anybody starting a, a new YouTube account is that when you do drop videos, drop five, at least five. Don't just drop one video at at, at the start. I would I would drop multiple, uh, just because it helps out with the the algorithm. But yeah, nice dude. You do have three videos out, so yeah, um, consistency is critical. So good luck to you and your content creation journey, bro. I'll try to uh, let let the your videos uh, play in the background, or when I'm eating, I'll I'll watch it as I go along. Now is the time to do free to play video, Virgie True. 
It is long, but I didn't want to make 400 videos going over each aspect of the count. Yeah, it, it's a lot. And for some people it works, but it's very time consuming to, to do. Like I've, I personally, I'm personally enjoying uploading unedited content because I see in the comments and I see through analytics that people do enjoy it. And it's also less stress and work for me because the time it takes for me to record and edit some of these videos that I do, it, it takes a while. Like I don't, I don't have an editor to do this for me. I like, I can't afford my own editor yet. So it takes the stress off me because I, I do a lot of my editing myself, pretty much everything except for one video. Because everyone does free to play challenge, yeah. Now's the time. Everybody's all about it. But yeah, Virgie. I would say uh, consistency is critical, and don't give up. As you watch, happy to learn as I go. Yeah, no, I'm happy to hear that you you you're like that because I'm very much the same way. I I don't want to be blind in any of it so it's just like if i can if i can get better I, i'd want someone to tell me how to be better just like all the for example all the, the the dislikes i get in my video i do appreciate it when someone says hey um like there was one guy in my chronum video showing how to get chronum Let me, i mean i'm not gonna go look for it but the point is he said i'm disliking this video because x y and z and i was like thank you i appreciate you being upfront about it and letting me know you know what i did wrong because now I can improve upon it, and that's the best thing somebody can can do. Kale's not putting poisons on the dragon because I did. I have not built Kale out. He's only kind of here. I d he does not have any accuracy yet. Get the progress rewards here. And, um, shoot, let me just do this real quick. All right, so we're going to save off on that. That's not... Don't need that. Did the void pop up here? Everybody's at level 30. Or did I just get to 30 on this one? Because I'm waiting to get... Th oh, there it is. It just... Hey. Speak. Manifest. Ask and you shall receive. Your video on how to delay grabbing a login champ for the CC tournament was so clutch for me. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That's that's what I wanted to put out. I, I put out the first one for Sun Wukong. And it reached a few thousand people, I think like 5,000 people, but uh, it's always good to, to recap it just because sometimes there are, there's a lot of newer players or it, it gets missed. So, yeah, I'm glad it helped you. Spread the word. Let the community know. Although a lot of people don't have that kind of, um, what's the word? Some people don't want to wait is what I'm getting at. And that's, that's totally fine. To each their own. It's prerogative. The Crisia. Damn. Not even a cold heart. So these three void shards that I got weren't got got nothing so far. And from there it's just the, the journey to get to 40, then 50. And then I do need to start focusing actually on on building out some of these champions. So I think I gotta do that. But I do wanna get rid of all this energy. By the way, Virgie, at some point today, I'm going to be recording a collab video with Beanie Senpai and Gavin Masters Raid, and they are doing free to play as well. If you have time and you'd like to be part of the video, part of the discussion, let us know, join the Discord, and you'd be more than welcome, seeing as you're a fellow content creator, to provide some insight on, on your free-to-play journey. I think it'd be a really good discussion to have. Plus, it'd be good for you, too. 
It's from 2019. Yeah. Super low pressure, though. You don't have to. If that's not your thing. Don't don't worry about it. Just offering. Go, Virgie, you go. Should be in a couple hours. I'm just waiting on the word from from uh, from them. Oops, too much, too much. Go back, go back, go back. Okay, yeah, definitely. Um, I think the link to the Discord is down below, and we'll be able to link up, get together. Okay, that's perfect. That's good to know. Yeah, I uh, I got today off as well. I wasn't supposed to. I was supposed to. I'm supposed to be at work right now, but uh, a client canceled, so I got to stay home and stream, play video games. Wife, my wife is at work. She had to go in, but she'll be back around 1300, something like that. But I love these days off because it, it's I, I get to come back and, and focus on things that I want to focus on, like content creation. Because you want to know if you find the link. Brother, let me know. Rudinoid, let me know. Hey, Sora is putting in work. I saw that. Get it. Okay, maybe not that one. The, his A2 was hitting quite hard. Source is getting there. Wait, is that even the source? I'm, I care. Oh, wait, no, this is my main account. I gotta work on Source here. I think what I gotta do is start out with the gear cleanse. I don't know if I want to keep any three-star gear. I'd have to, like, sit there and look. Definitely getting rid of all the gray gear and the green, because we don't need that. I try my best to sift through all the energy that I can from the get-go, because I one of the worst things you can do, in my opinion, as a free-to-play early gamer, is to let your energy cap out and sit like that because if you're generating energy every minute and you're capped out you're not going to be able to receive more of that energy uh, more of that energy so what you want to do especially if you're over cap is try to get rid of it as fast as you can so you can receive as much of that energy as you possibly can discord and join the link code for any shards were disabled i tried recently oh okay yeah, he's got a good animation for his, his A2. Well, welcome, Virgie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And there it is. Bienvenidos. Hi. Hope you brought pizza. Which I do have here at home because my wife wanted pizza last night. So, bought some pizza. And now my stomach just rumbled at the sound of the word pizza. So, what I'll do is I will hit you up. I'm going to talk to Beanie and I'm going to talk to Gavin. When they get to me, um, we, we talked about it last night. We said today is the day we're going to do it. I'll hit you up too. The void link. Yeah, Virgie said that that he tried looking for the link, but recently, uh, re recently he tried looking for that link that you were talking about, Rudinoid, from 2019, and it's expired. It no longer worked. I don't know. It's expired and no longer works. So, which kind of makes sense because I, I, I think Polarium knows when something's being abused and then they would do something about it. It's crazy. The first time I did this referral thing, it was before the word got out that there was something built in to Polarium's game. Before they patched it, the way it worked is that whenever you started a new account, I think it was like your first five shards, you had a over 50% chance to summon a legendary. So what a lot of people were doing was going through the tutorial, getting their first blue shard, and then pulling, and then waiting to pull the champion that they wanted. And then they would sell those kinds of accounts. They would reroll accounts. And then the word got out that and they, they opened like 40 or 50 different accounts and they showed that, hey, on these accounts, we pulled these legendary champions and it was significant. They fixed the link for that fix too? Yeah. So when I actually started my referral accounts and I did that, I was summoning like, 
Um, who's that one for the Banner Lords? I remember I summoned. I don't have him on my main account, but uh, who is he? They buffed him. They buffed him. Uh, was he Banner Lords? He's got to be Banner Banner Lords. He's got like a Rock Breaker move or something like that. It's not him. Sacred Order. Knight Arrow. All right, this guy, they buffed him. I pulled him. I pulled uh, Suzerain. I pulled Ursiga from a Void. On my, like, I was just like, all right, one Void and that's it. And then I pulled it and I got Ursiga. Only the Light Sworn Link now works. Gotcha. Started with Virgis and Rector Drath on my account since it works, since Deacon, uh, Rector, and Virgis. Yeah, no, those are huge champions to be pulling on day one. Deacon, Rector, and Virgis, huge. All right, so out of energy here, out of energy there, almost out of energy there, out of energy here. Good job, we got to level 30. Still stuck on this dragon mission, and I don't have any, I don't have any uh, gems for energy. So that's kind of big sad. I think we can close out of... Did I hit the clan boss on this? I did, so we'll close out of this one. Did I hit the clan boss on this? I did. You used to be able to add your UMID to start with epics and use it as a referral link as well, and they fixed it. Yeah. They definitely, I remember that. It's me and my wife, by the way. Love my wife. Okay, so let's start feeding champions that we don't need anymore. Or let's start trying to make more chicken, I guess. More food is proper term for it. Feeding champions. So, uh, she's very pretty, you guys look happy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we're very happy. Uh, best Best thing that ever happened to me. You know all that. She saved me from the bottle and, and everything. I still drink, but not like I used to. Could be good because I'm getting old. And my body just can't handle that anymore. 12 years, dude. Congratulations. 12 years is a long time. I can't wait to get to 12 years with her, with my wife as well. Not not your wife, my, my wife. I don't think I should have elaborated on that. I felt I felt like it was self-explanatory, and then I, I said extra stuff after that. <laughs> also, doing arena, it's a good thing to do. It's a it's a good thing to do arena because uh, extra stat points. Look at Soros doing some nuke in here. Beanie pulled Bellower. He pulled Bellower. That was huge. That was a huge pull up. Because if I pulled Bellower, I wouldn't. Even, I'm not even gonna bother with uh, with Soros. But look at that, Soros killing Bellower. And he's not even. He's not even in his final form. Yeah, I, I made it worse. Sometimes I do that. I just say things. I'm just like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. But then I have to explain further, and then I'm like, oh, well, I, I could have just left it, and I think uh, that would have been fine. <laughs> Frankie, I used to want Mr. Created Monster, and um, now he doesn't. He's not used for anything. You got to gold five quickly, farming one defenses, but refreshing. Yeah, that's that's the way I did it. On my, I gave an account away that had a crazy on it, and I was trying to bang out. When I was trying to like get the levels up and everything, that's what I was doing. Except 
I was using gems. I was using gems to refresh and get arena tokens because I was like, I'm just going to bang through this mission. Get right through it. Like, no fucks given. I also work from home and have raid up while I'm working, so it's easier for people like me. Yeah. I, um... Dorum YouTube. I can't wait to get to the point where I can just not have to go outside for work and I can just stay at home. It's such a huge thing. Like, you save on gas, you save on just your mental altogether. Oh, you got to gold five? Oh, wow. No gems used. That's that's different. That's something else. Look at that. Sorish is just ripping through. I mean, he dies, but freaking hell, man. You love to see it. He's just, his, like, his waves just push right through. Nope, I missed it. I was trying to get him. The stun. Wukong stun. You're a level 60 kill. You're a level 60 kill. But you'll lose. You'll lose, Tony Stark. Definitely not winning this one. Oh, let me. What if I manual this one? Hold up. Let's do this. Take the poison. Oh, nope. Never mind. It's just not possible. That, that was not going to happen the way I wanted it to. Let's do... Let's try this first. Nope. Okay, never mind. Ooh. Here it is. Saurus! Oh, not enough. Just barely. But wait. There's more. Boom. Outpacing the Arbiter missions for Arena, not doing the missions before rank 7, 8. Yeah. That is a that is a thing. Cause you, you will get out or you will outpace and then you're you're stuck there anyway. Oh, you're saying it's not gonna be a roadblock when you get to those missions. I guess yeah. If you're if you're doing your, your arena like that. Never mind. Blame my last. Here I gotta Gotta get my arena game up, too. Sitting there, waiting to refresh. Can't do any of that. Alright. Two more on these, and then we're gonna do... Regearing for everybody. Do I even want to mess with three-star gear anymore? I don't think so. I think I'm at the point where... I how much four, 4 and 5 gear do I have? 4 and 5 star? Alright, so we have a decent amount of 4 and 5 star gear already. We have been farming dragon. So let's let's get rid of our 3 star gear. We'll still keep our blues for now. What was this? We've got some clan quest thingy. Is it? Plural. I'm gonna take some more of your Carl. And might as well take no, oh, let's take energy. I'm gonna take some energy. Yeah. 800 medals for the missions have That is kinda kinda weird when you actually stop to think about it. Because, like, those are supposed to be the biggest... Oh, you know what was weird? So, on my second account that I got to level 100, I I was aware of a mission, or the mission. I don't know if you're there yet. But there is a mission on the road to Ramantu where you have to get get um 40 max glyph stats. So, you know, when you're maxing out your gear and then you have to use the, the glyphs and enchant. Well, you have to use 5 star or above. And you have to hit max 40 times. So the moment I started that second account, knowing that that was one of the roadblocks that I came across, I saved everything. Five star and up. I saved it all. 
by the time I got to that mission, I just I used up everything and I got through that mission like it was nothing. It's just crazy, you know, knowing what you know and then going back and starting again. Yup. I've never made it past Arbor the past before you quit playing. I feel you, dude. If you if you do continue, hope you do. But that's that's what you need to be. That's something you have to be aware about. Aware about. On YouTube, yeah. No, I got you. I know. I I knew what you meant. Trying to make more food. Pulled, uh, played way back in the day before I quit. Plan on finish everything this time. Hey, if uh, if you're looking for a clan, the you know we're always looking for reliable members. So if you don't have a reliable clan, you can connect with us. Um, I'm gonna send you a link to our our clan cluster discord because that's where most of us talk anyway like my my discord is is like okay but there's not too much activity on it which is completely fine it's mostly for informational things if somebody wants to connect directly with me but our our uh, our clan discord is uh, a lot more active we got a lot of active players super duper friendly and just if you if you need a clan basically and i, I think it'd be be cool if we're gonna start like I guess creating a relationship amongst the the raid community it's always nice and what was it Okay, so we can close out of that. Oh, you joined them from the... Oh, Sin? I've heard mixed things about Sin. But uh, I know my boy H-Dub is in Sin. I don't know Nubkex, personally. But, uh, like, I've never spoken with with uh, Nubkex, but he seems cool. I, I follow him. I like him. He's got good vibes. You don't know anybody in the cluster? Yeah, that could be be a thing. I think another something to look for in a clan, other than you know the obvious in-game metrics, key performance indicators, all that good stuff, is finding a clan you can kind of vibe well with. And I've found, and I've been with this clan for quite some time, past couple of years. I joined them by accident. It was actually kind of a funny story I'll get to, but. Ever since I joined, I've never wanted to leave. They, they're they just, like, really good people. And, you know, I'm a content creator. Gavin, our clan leader, is a, is a new content, relatively new content creator who, after, I think, only about, like, a month or two of, of posting content, but he does it every single day. Gavin broke 200 subs. That's a milestone. Beanie just started, I think, this last week, and he, so he's going to start going forward with his YouTube uh, content creation thing, so there's that. KPIs, yeah, that's where I got it from. Key performance indicators. But I didn't want to say KPIs in case there's someone in chat watching this in the future wondering, well, what the heck is a KPI? And, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, super low pressure. We just unlocked Nightmare Hydra. I have been... So before I joined this clan uh and i had my ult so i had a connection with them or, or whatever but before that on my main account i was in gods and legends and i had gotten accustomed to doing to to downing nightmare hydra on a on a daily or on a, on a weekly basis i should say and the rewards from nightmare i mean they're not like oh my god but you, know, you get used to it and then when you join a clan that's smaller with kind of progressing character or not characters people who are still progressing in the game and you're not able to do nightmare hydra anymore you kind of miss it and now i can do nightmare hydra again and i like it 
I do want to get into the social side of things with Raid. You should, because that's one of the biggest thing, if not the things, or the biggest thing that's kept me in this game. Just the social aspect of it, the community, the close-knitness. I like it. Five years, that's like the one thing that's kept me in Raid. I did take a seven, eight month break though, but that's for, you know, other reasons. I don't know anyone else who plays and I kind of miss the social sides of things. Huge, huge. That's exactly why Beanie started playing. And that's something you could talk about when we do our collab uh, soon. That Raid has a, you know, a social side to things. Because he was talking about like he wants to play games, but he wants to play with people he knows. He wants to do that kind of thing. I'm, just, I'm, I'm all behind that. Full force behind that. Should I start building out? Yeah. Used to play WoW just to hang out with people, yeah. And then you get to a point where you just aren't able to do that kind of thing. It's 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 weird because like, I mean, life happens. People grow up. My brothers and I used to play video games together all the time, and. For years, for decades, that's what we would do. And then I, we we grew up. Uh, you know, my other, my other, my older, the eldest brother moved to a different state, and he's in the military, and he's got a wife, and he's got kids, so he's always working. My, my other brother uh, does his thing, and kid and warrior. So he's busy all the time. He works a salary job, so he's always doing things. And then me, I work, and wife, and all that so we don't get to play xbox like we used to but this is nice because I, I i'm creating connections with with people who are into what i'm into and that's always nice all right let's do a little bit of a cleansing here video games are not the same yeah they're not found that the slow grinded isn't it have you played dark souls the soul series is, is huge for me like the the pain finally overcoming something all right let's look at this gear that we have this is going to take a bit but i guess i can if anybody's uh watching this in the future i can talk about how i go through my gear cleansing changes for each account but i do feel at this point in the game because i'm starting to farm dragon and i can have access to the four and five star gear i don't invest or keep three star gear anymore Oh, you have it on on Steam. Nice. The Polarium put raid on Steam recently. That that's a that's a new thing. I was like, what? No way. And um, yeah. So I do that. I get rid of the one star to two star gear and the three star gear. In terms of the gray gear and the green gear, the common and uncommon gear, I get rid of that too because. Like, one thing that I used to make mistakes on early on is I would find a piece of gear, like a, a, a common gray piece of gear, and I would roll it up, and I would get like a substat, like speed. I'm like, oh, cool, I got speed. But then it wasn't until later that I realized, check some water here, that something that's really huge is when you can roll a double or a triple. I say doubles in the beginning because when you're beginning to mid game doubles mean a lot for an example um you know double hp i don't really care about hp on some wukong but just imagine so when you're able to roll multiples on a specific substat that you want you're able to garnish more from that as opposed to having gray gear or even green gear where you can only uh you know have that one substat show up or if it's green you can only get one roll on a certain substat and you don't you're, you're, you're basically leaving a lot of stats on the table. In my endgame account, I don't even keep gear that is 5 star or below, and I don't keep gear that is anything below an epic. And now I'm getting, to, I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to only keep gear if it has a triple. Because that's just how, how it is. And 111s one, one, right here, don't keep those. But for where we're at right now, this is just as what we need to do. Just to get by. So what I need to do for a gear cleanse is look at the gear that I have, do the quick gear cleanse that I just showed you, and then look at a specific set and then the specific stats 
balance that against the champions that I'm prospectively looking at putting them on or in the future, so on and so forth. And um, yeah, I have a whole video on it. Uh, you can go look for it, just how, just how I gear cleanse, if that's something you're interested in. But for an example here, I look at the life set. To begin with, I don't really care about life sets. And the main reason is because Immortal drops pretty frequently. You're going to be bombarded with Immortal gear if you're doing clan boss on a daily basis, which you should be doing. Immortal gear is a lot better. You get the 15% bonus, but you also get heals as opposed to just the 15% bonus. Now, if you have if you have a life set gear piece that has excellent rolls on it, you know, go ahead and keep it. It could be a good offset piece because I have a few pieces of gear like that. Like, I don't know, like a quad roll and a shield set. I'm not going to use a shield set for the most part because I don't need more than just maybe one or two characters with a shield set, maybe three. But I'm not going to have a lot of shield set. But if it has a quad roll on it, that kind of changes things, especially if it's something like a quad crit or a quad... I mean, sorry, quad crit damage or... I don't want to say quad crit damage, like a quad speed or a quad HP, something like that. And for that reason, I'm just going to sell this. Offense gear, early on, it's okay to keep. But it's the same same thing here. Cruel, same thing as an offense set, but you ignore enemy defense. Cruel gear is always going to be better than offense gear. However, where, we're, where we are at in the game, I'm going to keep some of this offense gear, and then I'm going to roll it up right now. And if the rolls are in my favor, then, or the subs, first I check the subs, then I check the rolls, and then I make a decision from there. Okay. Offense. I don't like these substats. For offensive type gear, you want things like speed, crit rate, crit damage, attack, and this only has crit damage. Another thing to note, because this is only 4 star gear, I'm less inclined to want to roll it up to 16, especially since I'm starting to get 5 star gear and I think one of them, and 6 star gear. Bad, terrible rolls on this gun, on, on, I said gun, on this gauntlet, but it's crit damage and it's 6 star, which is huge for progression. And for that reason, to digress and, and get back to my first point talking about this, I'm only going to roll it up to, to 12. And we'll see where it lands. In fact, I should stop right here. I'm going to roll up to 4 first. See where it lands. If it, if it lands on crit damage, I'll roll it up to 8. Because that's a potential double or triple. Okay, so it landed on crit damage. I'm going to roll it up to 8. It's kind of a slow and arduous process. But I'm kind of sharing my, pro my own thoughts as I'm going through this. But this is how I decide what gear to keep, what gear to not keep. It landed on res. The only instance I would have kept this is if it rolled a double. Maybe I would have kept it. I would have seen if it was a triple. If it was a triple crit damage, I definitely would have kept it. But because for this set, for the champion that I'm probably going to want to be using it on, which is my damage dealer, my campaign farmer, that's the main thing I'm looking at so far. Oh, no worries. Uh, go ahead. Do, you, do what you got to do. I'm just talking because a lot of people do watch these uh, later on. These two subsets basically aren't going to do much for me. So they're null and void for me. I'm going to sell this one for that reason. This is a lot better. Attack. We want crit rate. We want speed. HP is okay. Not what I really want. But that's okay. So what I will do is I'll roll this up to 12. And see where it lands. I do not want 111s. I do want to see doubles. Speed is good. We do need crit rate. If I want Source to, to get where I need him to be. We'll take a double speed. Nothing wrong with more speed. 
And herein lies the problem with not being at level 40 yet. I just remembered that it takes forever to roll up gear if you're not at least level 40. Nice! Okay. Triple speed. We're keeping that. That's streaming luck. That's the stream luck. Triple speed roll, bro. I like that. You know what? Let's go ahead and keep it. This is how I mark my gear, by the way. If if there's a piece of gear that I like, I put a, a measly glyph on it. That way, when I'm looking at my gear, just in the future, uh, if you don't have the Hell Hades optimizer, then this is something that I do to mark the gear that I like. You know, just drop a one a one roll on it. And what I will do is probably wait now that I think about it. I'm going to wait till I get to 40 before I start rolling up everything. Because this is going to take forever if I try to do that. Although we are five away from it. Hold on. I, I have an idea. I'm going to pull up the optimizer and... You know what? I'll do that next stream. For the next video, I'll do that. But for now, since it's already 11, I do have to do some... Uh, what do you call it? Get prepared for this uh, collab video. I'm going to hit up everybody. So, um, Virgie, I'll hit you up on Discord and see if you're available i know you said you're available well we'll let you know the plans uh, i'm gonna end it here and i'll catch you guys on the next one virgie thanks for checking in and uh, nice to meet you bro so peace see you see everybody on the next one